When I never had a tag last year, I seemed to draw the moose right towards me. This was a pretty neat experience considering I had my kids Nikolai and Sophie with me. Now I finally have my tag and I couldn't be more excited for the rut so I can target bull moose with my archery gear. Talking to my son, Nikki's on the phone. And we're phone scoping a little bull moose. I don't know if you can see that, but pretty neat. Got these bulls, I'm gonna try to sneak in, so they're up here behind this bush. but I, they're kind of in the middle of a field and oh well what do you do right gotta gotta try to make your uh, chances count but I thought he was with a cow there's two it was a, the bigger bull was with one of the spikers and I saw another spiker across the road so oh well chance maybe another 20 yards 30 yards but I just didn't want to push him too hard I'm here for three days I was able to get out of work and uh, Nikolai's hockey so I uh, uh, shot the bowl a bit and I'm going to try to see if I can find some moose
well, we will get back at her in the morning and uh, we'll come back to the same area and hopefully we can get lucky. It's honestly been a dream of mine to harvest the drop time bull moose. Last season we watched a real good bull with a nice six to seven inch drop time that I would pray for an opportunity on. Travis had his tag last year and had a couple encounters with this bull, but no luck. At the end of last season, after Travis was tagged out, he spotted the drop time bull and put him to bed. It was the second last day of the season and we were just hoping he would survive the winter. In 2021, the moose numbers seemed surprisingly low and with no sightings of the drop time bull, we weren't 100% sure if he had made the season. However, that quickly changed when he showed up on trail cam. Now that he's in the game, all my attention has shifted in his direction, as this is the bull moose I want to focus on. I'm going to do a little walk in this area where we know there's moose like to hang out and hope, hopefully find a nice one here. So it's pretty foggy, but uh, we'll see what happens. Got a big bull coming. He's a little far away. He's on, the, uh, on a cow, so... Well, the cow was probably 60 yards and the bull was a little more but I couldn't it's a little too foggy out here and I couldn't I couldn't get an accurate range and I didn't want to I didn't want to be guessing I was a freaking big bull so he went in here they kind of screwed off but we'll see if we can get back on him all right we just seen this bull he's in this small bush here we're gonna work around it and see if we can make something happen Deep it went in. He looked like he was struggling. I drilled him pretty good. It was a long shot, but I've been shooting lots. I love this bow. Man, I hope this worked out. That's the guy we've been after. Big moose. This thing is huge. Well, here he is, uh, my 2021 bull moose. I was very, very, very fortunate to get this guy with my uh, APA. And uh, what a what a big bull. I, we got some trail cam pics of him. Uh, I had him two days ago, 
We dumped him, it was too foggy, I couldn't get a range on him. He was with like a hot cow. So we kept to the area, and uh, sure enough, we saw him in a bush today, and I we kind of made a play. He ran out at me, came kind of right at me, and then turned out, got into the field, and uh, shot him in the heart. Uh, doesn't happen every day, but it did today. I don't know if we're ever gonna top this. Is this could be the biggest bull in our family. Kyle's is really big and really unique and, and in velvet, but this is right up there. Unbelievable. I know he was walking down on us today and just freaking out like we were when uh, we seen the arrow hit. And So thanks for watching. <laughs>